Hello, my sweet friends, and welcome back to this week's What's for Dinner. I am so excited to bring you three very easy and delicious recipe ideas, and I hope this gives you some inspiration to maybe try something new this week for you and your family. If you do try any of these recipes, tag us in your pictures or leave us a comment and tell us which one you made and how you liked it. Also, I always love hearing how you guys tweet different things. It gives us good ideas, so let us know what you thought and if you changed anything up in this recipe. And as always, if this is your first time stopping by then welcome i would love for you to join our youtube family so before you leave be sure to hit the subscribe button y'all give this one a thumbs up if you want to see more what's for dinners and before we start cooking i do want to thank bright sellers for sponsoring today's video i have been so fortunate to team up with them a couple of times now and it is just so much fun to have wine delivered straight to your doorstep and i just love the experience of getting to try new and different wines and pair them with each of our dinners so let me tell you a little bit more about them. I get so excited to see what new wines are going to be in my Bright Cellars box each month. I love trying and finding new ones that I would have never thought to try before and then fall in love with them and be able to recommend them to my friends and family. There are so many things that I love about Bright Cellars, but the wine education part is really cool to me. I love that every bottle comes with handy cards explaining the wine's origins, flavor notes, pairing suggestions, and more. And I also love their outstanding customer service. They want to make sure that you are totally happy with every bottle in your shipment. So if there's one that you don't love, they will send you a replacement in your next box. To get started with Bright Sellers, you just take a quick seven question non-wine snobby quiz. That way they can gather your taste preferences and deliver wines that you are guaranteed to like. And after you finish your wines for that month, you can go online and actually rate those so that it improves your future matches. Bright Sellers is giving our followers an exclusive 50% off their first six bottle box plus a bonus bottle. That's seven bottles in total. Follow the link down below in my description box and take the quiz to get started. Okay y'all, so we are keeping it very simple in the Bunky household tonight for dinner. We're making some grilled cheese sandwiches and we're gonna have some roasted tomato soup from Trader Joe's. Bunky is so excited, he loves that soup. I think I'm gonna add a little bit of ham to my grilled cheese sandwich. So I'm gonna have like a hot ham and cheese that sounds amazing. Just a very cozy, fun dinner. And then Bunky and I are gonna go upstairs and watch a movie and I'm so, so, so excited. Got some sourdough bread here. And fun fact, we were actually at our friend's house recently and they served us the best sourdough bread that Bunky and I have ever had. It was so good. And they told us where they got it. I went today and I could not find the exact one, but this one still looked really nice. I think it's going to be delicious. And then I went to the deli and I got some Boar's Head American cheese. So I'm not skipping on the cheese. It's like really good. <laughs> and then I also got some honey maple ham. So that's going to be my grilled cheese. And fun fact, y'all, when Bunky and I were dating, Bunky's mom would always make me grilled cheese sandwiches, and I'm telling you, she's the queen of grilled cheese. And Bunky's mom doesn't like to cook, so I feel like this, was, <laughs> I feel like this is her specialty, but she made yeah. the cheese so ooey gooey. <laughs> she, um, she's definitely not like the most professional cook in the world, but she can turn out. She has some specialty dishes, and that's one and of them. grilled cheese is one of them. Yeah. This is our soup that we're gonna make. My mom loves this stuff. Highly recommended by your mom. Yes. Ready to use, just heat and serve. <laughs> I'm dying laughing. This is the easiest dinner y'all have ever seen us make. Oh, oh gosh. Well, it's supposed to be, oh my gosh, it's going okay, everywhere. You are making well, a how, mess. How, what am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing wrong here. Oh my goodness gracious. This is bad. What is happening? I don't know. <laughs> I think I know my, oh my oh gosh. Oh my gosh. This is so You're weird. cleaning the kitchen tonight. Let's go with a level three on that. You got it. Okay, you told me that you're not gonna tell me how you're making your grilled cheese, so are you gonna tell us, enlighten us now? Well, I'm gonna take this bread. Okay. And I'm gonna take some cheese and then I'm gonna put them together and put them in a pan. Oh my gosh! Is this your secret? <laughs> no, no, no. What's your well, secret let me, ingredient? Let me, let me get my okay, things okay, ready okay, and then okay. I'll show you. Okay. 
Okay, hopefully y'all can see me. I used to put butter on my bread before I put it in the pan so get nice and toasted, but Bunky has convinced me that you should put mayo on the outside and toast it like that. And then I did see it on Food Network. Somebody else did it. I don't know why we're down here. <laughs> I should have just picked the camera up. Anyway, somebody else did it and it looked so good. So now I'm converting to Bunky's way. You know what? What? You want to know what? What? You know who taught us about the old mayonnaise trick? Who? Dale Earnhardt Jr. Oh my god! Now granted he was using the wrong brand of mayonnaise. That's true. He was, he was using Hellman's. He was using Hellman's mayonnaise. And um, there's only one mayonnaise people. Um, but yeah, we learned that from Dale. This is a very critical part of the grilled cheese is getting full coverage, nice, full, even coverage of the mayo. Man, that was beautiful, B. I mean, I know I'm a good, I know how to throw out a good schmear. <laughs> you are the sandwich king. Junior, sandwich king junior. Okay, what kind of cheese are you using? Um, well, I'm going with, I'm gonna go with three. Three? Cheeses. Yep. I'm going with uh, a provolone. You probably can't hear anything I'm saying right now. Provolone is down. We have some Gouda going oh, down. Oh, funky. See, this is gourmet. And then I'm even gonna actually throw in a slice of your- um, American? Your yellow ched American cheddar. Um, just just for a classic touch. Okay. <laughs> okay. We could make some bacon. Well, or is that too much? I'm going straight grilled cheese with tomato soup. You know what I was thinking though? Lordy, girl, I said turn this down. I did. I turned it down to like three. You had it on six. No, I told you. I put it on three, then you changed it, and then I put it back. My friends, the video evidence will speak for itself. I said. <laughs> Three, and I put it on there. You moved it. I did not touch it. Okay, whatever. <laughs> anyway, Bunky. Yeah. I think that if you had a piece of bacon and you dipped it in your soup, would that not be so good? Yes. Yes, it would. Did I just put that on the mayonnaise side? I did. No, you did. I did. I gotta flip this whole this whole thing around. That's okay though. Look at that. Perfection. Let's go ahead. We're we gonna just go ahead and do it. Yeah. See? No troubles, people. I'm doing a secret tactic right now that we can't show anybody. Ooh. Let me flip it back over to this side for you. Wow, Bonky, that looks so good. Check out my the edge there. Wow. Oh. Ooh, disappointing. Disappointing but not disappointing flavor. <laughs> oh yeah. How's your secret ingredient? Secret ingredient? Absolute must have. Really? I'm serious, I love it. Are you gonna show them what it is? The chili onion crunch. Ooh, from Trader Joe's. I haven't found a lot of good ways to use it, but I thought it was gonna add excellent flavor to this dish. I have two more questions for the general public. Okay. Do you dip your sandwich into the soup? That's question one. Mmm. I feel good. And question two, Bunky, is is it normal to eat a pickle 
with your tomato soup and grilled cheese sandwich. I think it is. I think there's nothing better than a pickle with grilled cheese. I feel like it kind of provides like a, you know, the, Change in your the vinegar. Yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna make mine now. I never thought I could enjoy a grilled cheese sandwich and tomato soup so much. <laughs> Okay y'all, so tonight for dinner we are gonna have what we're gonna call like a garlicky chicken rice bake. This is a like one dish dinner, easy cleanup. I think it's gonna be so yummy. And I know you guys are gonna be shocked. I'm even going to add onion, but only to Bunky's side. We're gonna put everything in one dish, bake it in the oven. Y'all, I'm pretty sure this is gonna be absolutely incredible and just one of the easiest dinner ideas ever. I'm gonna give you guys the rundown and the gist of this recipe. We're gonna go ahead and add some butter and some chopped up or diced up onion and garlic to our dish and then pop this in the oven and kind of let it saute in that butter melt. And then we'll bring it out. We're gonna put all the onions to one side and then we're gonna lay our rice in there as well as our chicken. And to season our chicken, I'm gonna use some salt and pepper, some garlic powder, Butter, Italian seasoning, smoked paprika, and a little bit of this cumin. You can kind of use whatever seasonings and spices that you want. Then we'll add our chicken on top, bake it all in the oven. The rice is going to cook, the chicken's going to cook. It's going to be garlicky and spicy and delicious. We're also going to add in some chicken stock, but instead of regular chicken stock, we're going to do this better than bouillon to give it even more flavor. Y'all, it's going to be so good. And then at the very end, we're going to top it with a little bit of Parmesan cheese. Spice mixture is done, and Bunky's gonna go ahead and dice up our onion. Okay, I'm trying to remember this thing that I watched the other day about dicing an onion. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna. Uh, Give me a new technique. I, well, shoot, I can't remember now. Let me try to remember. Hold on, please. Okay, I'll hold. Okay, so we have our slices there, and then I think you like slice this way. Uh huh. That's awesome. How about that, huh? Wow. Okay, this is very important, boo. Okay. We have to remember which side is which. Yeah, because don't get me twisted over here with these onions. Okay. So there's your side. Okay. I'm gonna keep pulling her back. Yeah, there we go. Oh, we're already creeping around. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna pop this into the oven just until this butter melts and all of these like onions and garlic get kind of soft and sauteed. And then we'll pop it back out at our rice, our chicken broth, our chicken, and pop it back in. Okay, so while that is in there melting, getting sauteed, I'm just gonna get this chicken out and go ahead and season it on both sides, rub it in. That way it can kind of start to go ahead and marinate and get some flavor on it while that stuff is in there cooking. We're gonna permeate that chicken with flavor, boo. Yes. And I do have a question. What you can continue it? messing with that chicken, okay, but what is it? I was just curious what you were saving that teeny <laughs> piece of butter for. I actually forgot to put it in there. But okay, this piece of chicken is massive. We might need to cut Whoa, it in half. Oh, that is huge. There's only. Bunky. I needed more seasoning. <laughs> Bunky broke out the ranch seasoning. I wasn't gonna use it because you guys know every recipe has ranch seasoning in it, but I needed a little bit more and I was like, you know what? That's just gonna be so good and give yeah. more flavor. I was gonna pull my commentary out on you in a second. <laughs> and I was gonna say- Oh shoot. This is like the first time ever we've not used ranch seasoning That's on hilarious. chicken. That's hilarious. I know, but I just had to. And I'm just gonna do ranch seasoning, some more smoked paprika, salt and pepper, and that's what we'll use for like the backside. Does that sound good? Mm -hmm. I just want everyone to get a good look at Bunky's hair. I gave him a haircut the other day and I would say I did really good. Give me a look over here, okay? This is pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. I'm proud of this. You did a 
Okay, we won't, we won't look at the bag. I'll give you a 6.5 out of 10. <laughs> Could have been much worse. Okay, we are making our better than bouillon. Yeah, as I use my pink measuring cups to, <laughs> to pour, oh, can't hear that. Pour water into our measuring cup that used to have measurements on it. I know, it doesn't anymore. This thing is like my tried and true. We gotta throw this bad boy in the micro real quick. Okay. I wish you guys had smell-o-vision because that smells so good. Smell-o-vision. They probably can't even hear you over that sizzle. <laughs> All right, so next was the um, the rice, right? Just straight on top of there? Just straight on top. Okay, so we're gonna add a cup and a half of rice just right on top of this. Okay, chicken goes on top, right? Uh-huh, so uh, gently lay our delicious chicken breast in there. Ever so gingerly. Okay, so now we're just gonna add a cup and a half of the Better Than Bouillon or chicken stock, whichever one you wanna use. And then how much water do we add to this? Uh, one and a quarter cups. Okay. Okay, so then one and a quarter cup of water on top. This is crazy, Bunky. I know, y'all. This is an experiment. We oh never made my this. gosh, Bunky. I, there's an onion floating. I told you this was going to happen. <laughs> what did I say? I thought the rice and the chicken were going to keep the onions in place. Bunky convinced me to add the onion because he said that it would not move or come to my side. And I said, when you add that water, it's going to all come to my maybe side. I, maybe I should have been adding every, all the liquid from your end here. I better not bite into one of these chunks of onions. Just watch out for those guys. Tell us the cooking time because while he looked up the recipe. So tin foil, 30 minutes on 350 and then what? Oh my gosh. What? Are we going to have enough full? <laughs> See, I saw where we started getting down to that wrinkle. Uh huh. And I didn't think we were going to have enough. 30 minutes covered and then you uncover it. We'll tell you this the, the rest of it in just a moment. Because <laughs> you don't remember. I don't. Okay, 30 minutes is up. Let's see how it looks. Did you check and see how long oh, we have no, to go this, the next this time? Is, oh, no, I didn't. We'll figure that out real quick. It's, it's just it up. smells so good. Wow, this is exactly how it looked in the recipe we were looking up. Okay. Okay, so it's to uncover and bake. It says another 20 minutes until the liquid is absorbed. But are you spray the tops on them or no? Um, yeah, we can to give it, give it the, I'm gonna kind of shimmy this rice around a little bit. We're following a recipe y'all and it said um, to like spray the tops of them lightly. So I'm gonna use just like this, um, if we can see it, this avocado oil. Yeah. Yeah. Give the rice a little fluffage. Okay, so we're gonna pop this back in for 20 more minutes uncovered and it'll kind of absorb all of that liquid. Okay, so we just took this out and it's been only about 15 minutes. Um, and we're gonna fluff the rice just a little bit and then throw some Parmesan on, put it back in there for another five minutes and it is done. Y'all, yeah. this looks so good. It smells so good. I think the chicken's gonna have so much flavor. The rice is gonna have so much flavor. Yeah, there's still just a teeny bit of liquid in there. So we'll I cannot we definitely gotta keep it cooking. get over all the onions, Bunky. You did that. Oh my gosh.
And this, my friends, is what we call delicious deliciousness garlicky chicken rice. Oh my goodness, I cannot wait to taste this. I'm just trying to grain the rice there, Bunk. Oh, the rice is my favorite part. It is succulent, garlicky, delicious, buttery. The infusion of flavor into the rice is ridiculous. Out of this world. Yeah, like I did not expect such, and it's it's like some of the best cooked rice I think. Like we I've try. Ever had. We cook rice on the stove, and it, All the time. This, this is better than the rice we cook on the stove. This may be one of my favorite meals we have ever made. And we literally used one pan. The chicken has so much flavor, too. Mm hmm. Like, it was a good spice blend. Yeah. Um, but, like, the chicken, like, okay, hang on. A bite of chicken with a bite of rice is like. Mm. I'm excited to try that. Another thing, too, is like. A lot of times when you bake chicken, mm -hmm. I feel like it, you know, doesn't always turn out mm -hmm. like so moist. This is, yeah. I guess because there's so much moisture in the rice cooking. Y'all, this is a plus plus 10 out of 10. You have to make it. It is yeah. so good. Okay, so tonight for dinner, we are actually making spaghetti squash. I'm so excited because we have never made this before. So, um, we've looked up a few recipes. I think we're just going to cut this lengthwise, stab a few little pokes in it with a fork, scoop out the seeds, lightly, lightly drizzle a teeny bit of olive oil, yep. salt and pepper, and then we're going to bake it in the oven for 40 minutes on 400 degrees. And um, hopefully I have all my fingers left after I cut this thing. <laughs> because I feel like it's very firm. I'm just gonna go about it the way that I think is the best, okay? You go ahead. All right. No, okay. Uh, mm-hmm. Okay. That's probably not smart. That's probably not smart. <laughs> well, I'm trying to uh... That's probably like the not smartest thing ever. Well, I was trying to just get it like that. There we go. Okay, so scoop out these seeds, and then like I said, just lightly put the tiniest bit of olive oil, salt, and pepper, and then we're gonna bake them like face side down. Okay, so into the oven at 400 degrees for 40 minutes. So our spaghetti squash just went off, so he's gonna get it out of the oven, and then y'all are gonna be shocked, I know. <laughs> but while that cools, we're gonna go ahead and do our meat, and we're gonna use ground turkey. Baby steps, we're trying to be a little bit healthier. We're just gonna cook that really fast, add our pasta sauce and some Parmesan cheese, and then dump that into our squash. This is gonna be so yummy. This might be the first time, well, well, I've never, had, I've never had ground turkey like that, and I've never had spaghetti squash. This is a yeah. first for me. <laughs> I think I've eaten spaghetti squash like maybe once or twice. Yeah. So I'm really looking forward to it, because if I re remember correctly, I did think it was very good. And um, hopefully we can't tell the difference between ground turkey and ground beef. <laughs> Here we go. Y'all, I'm gonna add just a pinch of this Italian seasoning to our turkey just to kind of give it a little bit of flavor while it's cooking. See if I can handle this. I don't know if you can handle it. No, I feel how cold my hand is. It'll be fine, right? <laughs> just kidding. That, that's pretty hot. <gasps> Bunky, that's pretty. Wow. Yeah, that's kind of hot. Oh my gosh, though, it's so pretty. I think this is gonna be so yummy. Like, I'm honestly so excited. And I hope that it is, so that we can start having this more often. We could even make spaghetti squash chicken alfredo. <laughs> I'm just saying. Okay, moment of truth. Wow, I'm amazed. I am amazed, Bunky. Don't, yeah. 
Don't you want to go like all the way across though? Or are you just making a little bird's nest? I'm making a bird's nest. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so fun! <laughs> this is actually so fun. It feels like hash browns. <laughs> <laughs> You're in love, then. I am in love. Oh, my goodness. B, this is so cool. Well, it looks super yummy, so I'm excited to dig in and try it, and I'll let you guys know how we like it. I must say, I'm pleasantly surprised by this meal. Me too. It actually turned out all around better than I thought it was going to be. It's really good and very easy. Yeah, like, we might be switching over to turkey. <laughs> and this squash, spaghetti squash is really good. Never had it. So I, I will say that I actually like the texture of the noodles of the spaghetti squash more than I even like regular noodles. I think they almost have like a crunchy potato like texture, which you guys know I love. And the turkey, I will say I'm pleasantly surprised. You really cannot taste that it. it's turkey because it has all that flavor on there. So I will say this is something we will definitely be having again. And I really do want to try to make the spaghetti squash into like a chicken alfredo as well. I think that would be really good. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here, but thank you for hanging out with us in the kitchen. I love you guys. I'll be seeing you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new and give this one a thumbs up. Bye y'all.